Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now this is vlog number two of watering the cacti and succulents in the polytunnel after their long sort of winter rest. Now it's spring and the other day I made a video on watering all the hanging baskets that we put out, put them out into the hanging baskets stands outside. It's a lovely day and gave them all a good water. And today I'm going to be watering the punchers. Now we've waited until it's afternoon, as you can see, nice sunny day today. And the reason why I didn't want to water them first thing this morning is because the sun was in the polytunnel and the heat and the sun when you're watering isn't a good idea. It's always best to water either very early in the morning or very um, sort of late afternoon when the sun has gone away from them, which in this case it has. And the reason why I'm going to do this video is I want to show you what they look like before. These, have, these cacti have not had a scrap of water all through the winter. The last time we watered these was sort of September time and it's now spring, April, and they've not had a scrap of water and it is time to give them a watering. As I say, some of the um, succulents I have watered and obviously the epiphytic cacti that watered the other day that were on the hanging up on the um, rails, they um, had been watered lightly throughout the winter every now and then to stop them from dying back because obviously Slumbergia are commonly known as Christmas cactus and some of the epiphytes are still winter growers. But the Apunchas have a complete dormancy winter rest and this is normal. I'll just show you here for them to be very shriveled there and um, shriveled there. Perfect example of what Apunchas do, they do that in the winter, they shrivel back and this is normal what they're doing their natural habitats. I mean, this is a good example here. This is a puncher humifusa. And these are ones I actually grew from seed myself. But they're very sort of shriveled because they're gasping for a drink. And the shriveling helps them to cope with very cold temperatures in the winter time. There's a few more there to show you're wrinkled. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to give them a good water now. Their first water of the year 2019 in April and there have not been a drop of water since September and I'm going to show you what they look like probably in about two days time when they've taken up the water and they've sort of ironed themselves up a bit and obviously I'm going to I won't put this video up until two days at, um, in, I'm going to wait two days and then show you what they look like when they're fattened up and then put that at the end of this video clip into one video so you'll see the transformation and the reason why I'm doing this video as well is I had a, a brilliant idea from my wonderful friend Denise from Given to Grow and Denise made a video a week or so ago now of um, she was watering her punctures and she used an example of one of her punctures I think it was this one a similar one to this one a punctures um, it's a variegated form here and she showed you one it was very shriveled and she watered it and two days later it sprung back into life again and I thought that's such a great idea to show the before and after of the first watering of the year and if you're not familiar with Denise do go over to Denise's channel it's called given to grow and she has some wonderful plants on there lovely videos so it'd be very good to um, go over and support her and I'm pinching this video idea from you Denise I thought it was a great idea which is um, why I thought I was just going to do a video on just watering all the plants and the, the fact that you did a wonderful video Denise of the after effect of how your puncher sprung back into life again was an amazing video so do check that video out guys as well on Denise's channel it is amazing and hopefully that my puncher is also going to do the same thing and we have a selection of different ones I say some are more shriveled than others some don't look any different because they hold all their water stores and um, as you can see here a little bit um, limp and uh, this is a good example of how they all go wrinkly here, leaning over. That is pretty normal with the punctures. And on there too, have some more over there. I'm not going to be watering these ones. They're bigger a puncture and we're going to be putting them out into the yard when the weather gets warmer. So they're going to stay as they are. No, I won't be watering them ones. But this is another one here. Look how shriveled that is. Um, completely shriveled. But they're perfectly okay. This is how they go. Shriveled there. So you're going to see... Um, what they look like now this will be a very good example to show you before and after because this is an extreme example of very shriveled a puncher and um, now I'm going to go ahead and give them some water as I say rain water and I've waited um, 
to the rainwater sort of nice sort of room temperature water now gonna go here and because they are so dry you find when I water them the probably the water's gonna go straight out the pot but because they're on a tray it doesn't really matter they'll take the water up from the bottom of the tray and as I say I waited until now April to water them because it's still you know it, it's the days are longer now and they're coming into growth and they are going to need watering but it's still the nights are still quite chilly enough so you do have to be careful um the punches are pretty hardy anyway and if they forecast any really chilly nights we just put the heater on so there's not going to be any problems there with these punches so i'm going to give them a good a good drink now and um what i'm going to be doing say the water that goes on the tray is not a problem they're going to take it up from the bottom anyway and uh do that and this is going to be quite a transformation. I mean, look how wrinkled this one is as well. Here, guys, very, very, very wrinkled there. As I say, I will give this big one a little bit of water too, but it's not too bad that the big ones hold the water. This one is another. And they're going to be doing, well, I'm also going to be doing over the next, the next few weeks. It's going to take me a while because there is a lot to do in the polytunnel. I'm just going to be going through all the plants and changing the soil on a lot of them. A lot of them don't necessarily need repotting, but they do need a change of soil and then being put back into the same into the same pots again just to freshen up the soil and uh, this is what this video is on today as I say I'm going to do a series of videos over the next few weeks like more like a video vlog really of um, everything I'm going to be doing in the polytunnel I've got a lot of tidying up to do and everything else but the first thing to do to start off start off the growing season is just to water the ones that are pretty desperate to be watered and that's pretty much it I'm run out of water I'm going to fill up from the the rain bucket and start doing all the rest of these but this is just to show you what they look like now pretty wrinkled and I'm going to carry on watering the rest of the back table and then I'm going to show you I'm going to stop the video now and then I'll show you the transformation particularly on these humifusers of what they're going to look like in two days time so here we go guys these a bunch of humifusers here are going to be trans transformed from wrinkled old prunes to da -da, to this guys and look how much this is this is a couple of days later and i gave the punchers a really good watering as you know and look at this pad here has completely filled out this is still a little bit shriveled but it's ironing itself out and this one here is unbelievable how much it's, it's completely sort of ironing itself out these ones here as well i'll just show you compared to how they looked a couple of days ago they are smoothing out very nicely and look at this one here i move this here to get a bit more light this was so wrinkled and now it is looking so much more more filled up with water i say punchers are unbelievable how much they fill up when you give them a good water after after the winter rest and look at this one here as well the subulata that has really gone nice and fatty and filled up they're unbelievable as you can see the difference when they've been watered but this one has really really come on here and I just thought it was interesting to show you the before and after of how they all look. I mean, look at that. This one as well was so tiny and shriveled. This one is nice. I say a lot of these are going to need to be repotted over the, over the next few weeks, but it's good to give them a bit of a good water at the moment. And look, that's really filled up too. Unbelievable difference, isn't it, guys? I'm sure. And these are the, uh, the um, Austro-Cylindra Samianas. I mean, these are very like shriveled little sticks. Look at them now. And as you can see the soil is dry so they're going to need another another good watering but unbelievable difference i mean look at that as you can see in the earlier video they've just um, and this is incredible i mean that's unreal i have to say really really ironed themselves out and this one here which was really floppy is now sort of ironing itself out as well as you can see there i just wanted to show you and here as well i mean look at that and this one was very wrinkled, looking so much better. And as I say, I decided to do this video. As I say, Denise Given to Grow did one on her, a puncher. So links up above to that video because this gave me a video idea. So thank you, for Denise, for the video idea. And do go over and subscribe to Denise um, as well, Given to Grow. She has a lovely channel on there. And you see the difference with her, with her a puncher, the before and after photos. And I thought I'd do this with all of these. This one here is still looking a little bit, a little bit shrill up this is the fragilis but they sort of look like that anyway but um probably needs another good 
bit of a good water as well. They do take a number of days to take it up fully into their plant cells. So um, they're going to probably in a few more days, these are going to look a lot more ironed out. But I just wanted to show you the, the difference in just literally a couple of days can do in how they, they need to um, iron themselves out. I mean, that's still a little bit wrinkled, wrinkled there, but look at the difference in that pad. Unbelievable. And here, I mean, this is a massive transformation. And there you can see. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video of the before and after transformations of the shriveling punchers to the more ironed out look, <laughs> including these here. The Samyanas, the um, Austro-Cylindra puncher Samyanas are the most unbelievable, remarkable, I have to say. They are just look so much more ironed out now and filled out. They look twice the size almost when they fill out. So guys, thanks so much for watching. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye.